Right now, it's time for the biking and boating forecast. Get your motor running. Get out on the highway. That's a song. 85 will be the temperature at noon as we take it to Volusia County, Daytona Beach. 89 will be the high <clears throat> by 4 o'clock, so it's not going to be as hot as we'll see in inland areas. And look, it'll be dry. So today's going to be a good day to get out on the bike. We do have the rip current risk if you're getting in the water, but for boaters, seas up to about four feet, so not too bad, although the waters are still fairly churned up. So if you are going to get in the water, swim near lifeguards. Here again is the very latest on the tropics. This is very close to the Bahamas. In fact, already bringing rain to the southern Bahamas, but the center of whatever this little disorganized area of rain is, again, not much organization with this because of upper level winds keeping it at bay. It will eventually move into the northern Bahamas by tomorrow, bringing rain to the folks there who don't need any more. The Hurricane Center giving it a 50% chance of development within the next five days. That's likely once it moves into the Gulf, after it moves over us with some rain. Again, that'll be likely Monday. It could be a depression on Monday and then it moves quickly on land. So not devastation for even the Panhandle. That's good news. There's the Orlando Health Cam view of downtown Orlando right now 75 with a north northeast wind at seven miles per hour. Here are the temperatures. It's warm. It's muggy. We've got low level humidity leading to a feels like temperature near 100 later today. But in the upper levels and the mid levels of the atmosphere, some drier air and that's why rain chances remain low, at least for today. It's 78 in Sanford, 82 in Cocoa Beach, and 73 in Ocala. But here's a look at the Pinpoint Accurate Forecast. Your forecast brought to you by Del Air Heating and Air Conditioning. Getting up to 94 today with a 20% chance for rain. At times, feeling more like 100 degrees. Look at the moon. It's waxing on officially on Friday the 13th. That's this Friday. It will be full. Isn't that spooky? 78 will be the temperature at 10 o'clock tonight with only a 10% chance for rain. There's the East Coast Sea Breeze pushing in, trying to bring on shore one or two showers. You see a little green here, but for the most part, it's not widespread at 20%. A high of 94 in Orlando. Orlando, 93 in Sanford today, 89 in Cocoa Beach, Leesburg, getting up to 94. But let's get results with your seven day forecast as we take you into the weekend. And of course, watching that tropical moisture move closer, we'll see a 60% coverage on Friday, 70% on Saturday and Sunday. But look at the upper 80s Friday and Saturday. Let's check on the roads and head over to traffic safety expert Trooper Steve. His pinpoint traffic brought to you by Napleton Automotive. The UCF game is coming up ah. on Saturday. We need our ponchos for that. Ponchos, make sure you got those. UCF ones, rock your team mm -hmm. out there. Everything's mm -hmm. going to look good. This is Sky 6 flying over eastbound I-4. Just flew over John Young Parkway. It's pretty cool when you can figure out the landmarks. I saw that big uh, car vending machine thing on the left-hand side. But everything's clear as you're cruising out and about there this morning. Same thing on I-4 at the 417 on the north end. So this is in Seminole County right outside Sanford there. You can see everything's still green if you're hitting the road right now from 46, maybe headed westbound on I-4. Currently no issues east and west on 434 over in Longwood, a little further west. Now, I dropped this little yellow dot because a lot of people were, were like, hey, where was that bear uh, kind of attack? That's where it happened at, just west of of I-4, north of 434 in the Springs area. That's where it was, a little fun fact for you. Not much to talk about this morning. You guys are driving really nice. So as we continue a little further south, towards the Pine Hills area, 50, I-4, John Young, right by the Sheriff's Office, 408. We're looking good. Guys, back to you. Thanks so much, Steve. Serious allegations against a controversial NFL star. At the bottom of the hour, why a former trainer is naming Antonio Brown in a Florida lawsuit. Also ahead, Apple's new line of tech products. Up next, the company's latest effort to boost slumping sales. You're watching News 6 Mornings. Here's a live look out at the beach camera there at Daytona Beach. We're still waiting on that sunrise at 622. We'll be right back. Your bike and boating forecast is brought to you by Bruce Ross Myers Harley Davidson. I'm pinpointing weather in Seminole County. Download the News 6 Pinpoint Weather app now for the latest alerts. Bam! Napleton, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, Ram, and Kissimmee and Claremont has Central Florida's largest selection of Ram trucks up to 13000 off. Napleton, Chrysler, Jeep, Dodge, Ram, your ride, your way today. Oh, look, it's our dramatic little friend, the tire pressure light. False alarm, red alert, who knows? We know. Come into Discount Tire, and let's get you taken care of. Beef O'Brady's 2 for 20. Steak is back and desserts are in. Like beef's crispy funnel fries. Pick a starter or dessert to share. Plus two entrees like USDA choice cut sirloin. All for 20 bucks. Beef O'Brady's, what'll you choose? Here's your Buick, sir. Actually, that's my Buick. 
How are we gonna fit in your mom's Buick? Easy. I like that new Buick. Me too. I was actually talking about that Buick. I knew that. Did you? Buick's fresh new lineup is full of surprises. Kick off football season with Buick. Current eligible non-GM owners and lessees get 20% below MSRP on most 2019 Buick Encore models. Plus, well-qualified buyers get 3.8% APR financing for 72 months. Great tasting fish doesn't start frozen. It starts fresh and stays fresh. That's why our fresh fish is never frozen and gets here fast. Whether it's from Iceland, Chile, or as close as the Florida Gulf. Because when you start with something great, you end up with something even better. Publix, where shopping is a pleasure. Pick a starter or dessert to share, plus two entrees like USDA Choice Cut Sirloin, all for 20 bucks. Beef O'Brady's, what'll you choose? Oh look, it's our dramatic little friend, the tire pressure light. False alarm, red alert, who knows? We know. Come into Discount Tire, and let's get you taken care of. In this morning's Consumer Watch, Apple has unveiled its newest line of tech products, hoping to boost its struggling sales. The iPhone 11, along with the iPhone Pro and Pro Max, were officially announced. Apple CEO Tim Cook says he hopes to provide a major upgrade to the cameras, allowing people to shoot video using some new angles. Customers love iPhone because we focus on technologies that matter most in their lives. The new phones will carry a hefty price tag with the Pro Max costing $1,100. Apple TV Plus also launches in November in an effort to compete with other streaming services like Netflix. Happening today, Orlando Mayor Buddy Dyer will take a pie in the face for a good cause. This is a video from 2016 when he got a face full of whipped cream. This is part of the Whipping Childhood Cancer Challenge. An 11-year-old cancer survivor We'll get the honor of smashing the mayor with that pie. So oh, good we'll sport. Update our video. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is 626. A veteran's months long journey is raising awareness on this day of remembrance. Yeah, he's back home after walking across the country. It's amazing. William Shuttleworth started his journey from Massachusetts to San Diego in May. Now, almost four months later, and I think he said five pairs of shoes later, the 71 year old has walked 3,300 miles. Mm. He says he did it to bring attention to other veterans dealing with homelessness, mental illness, and other issues. And mm. we thank you all for your service. Bravo. Yes, we do. Still to come, a woman attacked outside her own home. What we're learning about the bear that may still be roaming a local neighborhood. Also ahead, an alleged plot to kill uncovered. What deputies say a teen tried to do and who she was targeting. Plus, the case of two officers gunned down is set to go to the jury. What a relative of the man charged in their death told jurors in court. So things are much better, and thank you to News 6 for helping our community out. Don't miss the fall collection sales event going on now at Lexus of Winter Park and Lexus of Orlando, where you can try the brand new UX for only $3.29 a month, and we have a great selection. Visit Lexus of Winter Park or Lexus of Orlando, or call 1-800-NEW-LEXUS. Hey, Ben. Throwing away your smart devices? Yeah, no matter how many of them I buy, they're always broken. It sounds like dead zones. Like with your Wi-Fi. Devices are probably fine, they just can't connect to your internet. Honey, Mike says it's the Wi-Fi. The smart fridge is fine. Oh, thanks, Mike. Your home is only as smart as your internet. Get fast, seamless wall-to-wall -wall coverage and reduced dead zones with AT&T Internet with smart Wi-Fi technology for $40 a month. More for your thing. That's our thing. Call 1-877-ONLY-ATT. Well, it's Saturday night and I just got paid. My heart say go, go. Have time for Saturday night. Now I'm feeling fine. I'm on a rock it up. tonight. 
the 2019 Ranger. Drive it now with 0% financing for 60 months, plus up to 2,500 total cash back. Only at your local Ford dealer. What makes New South Window different? We are truly factory direct. We manufacture, we install, and we guarantee for life. From our factory to your home. Now that's factory direct. When it comes to choosing the right firm, knowledge matters. At Bogan Munns & Munns, we have created a team of attorneys with knowledge in all types of personal injury cases. Bogan Munns & Munns. And that's your basic three-point turn. If you say so. I'm sorry? What Pete sure isn't telling you is that Snapshot rewards safe drivers with discounts on car insurance. What? Maybe he didn't know. I'm done with this class. You're not even enrolled in this class. I know, I'm supposed to be in ceramics. Room Do you know? 308. Oh, thank you. Yeah. Good luck, everybody. It's the Fall Collection Sales Event with incredible savings on luxury. Like a new 2019 ES350, only $375 a month. Come see us at either convenient location, Lexus of Winter Park or Lexus of Orlando, or give us a call at 1-800-NEW-LEXUS. Lexus of Winter Park, 436 and University Boulevard, or call 1-800-NEW-LEXUS. Live, this is News 6. The case against a man accused of killing two local police officers heads to the jury in just hours. What the defense is arguing in hopes of saving their client's life. Plus, a teen locked up accused of trying to have her own parents killed. The key piece of evidence that helped crack the case as she gets ready to face a judge. And a bear attack in Seminole County. A woman bitten just feet away from her home. What wildlife officials are doing this morning to get results for neighbors? Good morning, Central Florida. Your time right now is 6.30. I'm Kirsten O'Connor. Glad you're with us on this Wednesday. I'm Justin Warmoth. Those stories are more ahead, but we start with your weather. And Troy, that heat is sticking Ooh, around, yeah. plus some tropical moisture working in. That'll happen on Friday, Saturday, and Sunday as we see some moisture build in from the south and southwest. All of that will build into the Gulf of Mexico eventually through Monday. But here's Daytona Beach right now as we show you 81 is what it feels like. The actual temperature 78 degrees with an east and north. Northeast wind very light at seven miles per hour. Your day planner looks like this. A hot one, as Bridget said, up to 91 at 2, 94 by 4 o'clock with rain chances minimal at 10% through noon, then going up to 20% between 2 and 6 p.m. So not a lot of rain today. We'll show you future radar and talk about that increased chance as rain chances do go up for the weekend. But first, let's check on the roads and head over to traffic safety expert Stephen Montiero. Trooper Steve's Pinpoint Traffic Report is brought to you by Napleton Automotive. It was nice not seeing a graphic as tall as I am, right? The 70%, the short stuff right there. Sky 6 is over an incident over, and I drive in Sand Lake. This is the Walgreens. Uh, Fire Rescue has reported a hazardous type incident, but everything seems to be pretty calm over here. All your roadways is what we're concerned about are currently open. So I drive and Sand Lake not affected by anything. Just wanted to let you know if someone saw it going on. So 423 and 50, which is John Young Parkway and Colonial Drive. Local road here. Everything looking really smooth, nice and smooth out here. This is right in front of the Orange County Sheriff's Office. So everything nice and easy out there. That's the yellow dot, so you know where the camera's at. Moving a little further south towards, uh, you know, Florida Mall, Sky Lake area, east and west on Sand Lake from John Young all the way towards Orange Avenue. All clear. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Trooper Steve. Happening today, jury deliberations are set to get underway in the trial of a man accused of killing two Kissimmee police officers, but not before one last attempt by his lawyers to try and avoid a possible death sentence. Ezzie Castro joins us live from the Osceola County Courthouse this morning. Ezzie, if found guilty, Everett Miller could pay with his life. Bridget, he could face the death penalty if he's convicted of first degree murder, but his lawyers are hoping that jurors will convict him of a second degree murder charge, which could spare him a death sentence. Everett Miller's defense team resting its case yesterday, leaving the jury now to deliberate his future. Miller is accused of shooting and killing Sergeant Sam Howard and Officer Matthew Baxter in August 2017. His lawyers say Miller didn't plan to kill the officers. Everett Miller was there that night. There's no question about it. But did he intend to kill these officers? Did he have the specific intent, the premeditated intent to commit murder? 
The defense only put Miller's sister to the stand, who said her brother struggled after he got out of the military. She says Miller lost his job, his girlfriend, even his sanity. Riding in the car with him one day, he was kind of uh, acting weird, saying that somebody was watching him. Though state prosecutors argue that the killings were premeditated and that Miller even told an inmate on how he would have used his assault rifle to pick them off if he could have. Every time ever Miller pulled the, fight, the hammer back on that firearm, he was making a choice. Now, jury deliberations are set for 8 o'clock this morning. We will be here and let you know what the jury decides on. Live outside the Osceola County Courthouse, Ezzy Castro getting results. New 6. All right, Ezzy, thank you. New from overnight, dramatic video showing Palm Bay firefighters working to put out a truck fire. This happened yesterday in the compound west of I-95. The flames spread to some nearby brush. Firefighters worked to put out both fires, and at this point, it doesn't appear anyone was injured. A teen accused in a murder for hire plot. Deputies say the 17 year old paid two different people to kill her own parents. And now in just hours, she'll appear in court for the first time since her arrest. Mark Lehman joins us live from Umatilla High School where she is a student. And Mark, deputies say it was one of her friends who actually went to authorities. And that friend is a student at Tavares High School, and she told a resource officer after learning about the plot. Uh, that's when investigators confronted Alyssa Hatcher, and they say she confessed. But at this point, she is not saying why she wanted her parents dead. There are people who were saying that on social media, she would always post how much she hates her parents. But how could those feelings go this far? That's the question investigators are working to answer after deputies say 17 year old Alyssa Hatcher stole her parents debit card and paid two men more than $1,300 to try and kill her parents. Sometimes people take things too far and this appears to be one of those things. Detectives learning about the plot after they say one of the teen's friends at Tavares High School caught wind of the plan. She told a resource officer about Hatcher paying a man. The investigator said that there was drugs involved, so we don't know if this was a drug-induced decision that she made, uh, but either way, it's a very serious one. When deputies confronted Hatcher Monday night, they say she confessed to paying a second man to kill her parents when she realized the act was never carried out. The teen's parents telling deputies they want to see their daughter prosecuted. There is nothing that your parents can do to you, be it you're grounded, a car is taken away, you can't go to the prom, whatever, for you to get to this point. And while Hatcher's classmates will be returning to class this morning at Umatilla High School, she will be appearing for the first time before a judge in juvenile court. At this point, deputies have not identified Hatcher's parents, but we have learned that her father is a police officer with the local department. For now, reporting live in Umatilla, Mark Lehman getting results, News 6. All right, Mark, thank you. Franta calls for help after a woman is attacked by a bear in the middle of a Seminole County neighborhood. She fell on her head and uh, has a big uh, uh, yeah, smashed her head twice and, and, and bit, bit her on the heel. And that was just part of the 911 call made by the woman's husband shortly after she was attacked in the Springs neighborhood early yesterday. Deputies say the woman let her dog out to go to the bathroom and was bitten by a mama bear while her two cubs were nearby. Investigators say the woman fell while attempting to get away and was bitten on the foot. Wildlife officials say since the bear did come in contact with a person, they have set up a trap in that neighborhood. An Orange County man accused of killing two women as they slept is expected to learn today how much time he'll spend in prison. A judge expected to sentence Hubert Gant later this morning. Prosecutors say he shot and killed Alberta Walker and Felicia Dorch in 2015. He was facing first degree murder charges, but entered a no contest plea to lesser charges last month. Gant is facing decades behind bars. Today's hearing is set for 11 o'clock. We'll take a look at this. We're getting an incredible new look at the power of Hurricane Dorian as it slammed the Bahamas, taken by a local couple who was there as the storm hit. John and Tishka Slack, who are from Longwood, were inside a friend's home on Abaco Island when the winds shattered the windows and waves smashed right up against the house. So terrifying. We weren't sure if we were going to make it. Nothing you can do, and it was, it was like... If it's going to happen, just make it quick. Well, when the eye moved through, they tried to get to another home, but that's when their car got stuck in the mud. 
forcing them to ride out the rest of the storm for 17 hours right there with a child and three dogs. Wow, just incredible. And while that family survived, unfortunately, many others did not. The official death toll in the Bahamas is now at least 50. In the meantime, the governor is weighing in on a new controversy following the storm. Right now, Bahamians are only allowed to travel to the U.S. if they have a valid passport and visa. Some are calling for those rules to be relaxed, but the governor says even if storm victims come to Florida, they likely won't find the resources they need. Right now in Florida, there's no shelters open or anything like that. There is a lot of push for that in the Bahamas. And I think the Bahamian government would probably, in those circumstances, prefer that folks um, you know, f use some of the resources that are there. The governor announced yesterday the state and Florida Power and Lights are donating nearly 600,000 bottles of water to the Bahamas following the storm. And as we get back to the weather with meteorologist Troy Bridges continuing to pinpoint the tropics and it's going to rain on the Bahamas today, unfortunately, Troy. Yes, the southern Bahamas right now and then eventually through the day tomorrow in the northern Bahamas, exactly where Dorian hit. So not great news. In fact, bad news for all the folks trying to recover from that devastating hurricane. Right now, the Hurricane Center giving this a 50 percent chance of development within the next five days. Here's the bottom line for us. It will be a rainmaker for the most part as we head into Friday, Saturday, and Sunday and then the models, the European as well as the American, take it into the northern Gulf of Mexico, possibly making a landfall in the panhandle sometime on Monday as a tropical disturbance or less than a tropical storm, possibly a tropical depression. So not much of an organization here, but again, a rainmaker as you see all that green pushing in our direction through Friday and Saturday. Today dry for the most part, only a 20% chance for rain and a high in the mid 90s. So it's going to be hot. We'll give it an A, though. We'll see about Friday, though. Looks like it's going to be more of a C or a D. But first, let's check on the roads and head over to traffic safety expert Trooper Steve. His pinpoint traffic brought to you by Napleton Automotive. Why would you do that? Let's like, enjoy today. That's like when the teacher goes, no homework today, but wait for the exam tomorrow. It's going to be terrible then. <laughs> You're ruining my day. 417, <laughs> Lake Underhill, 417, flowing very nice. If you can give yourself a round of applause or a pat on the back, traffic this morning is doing great. And Troy's not driving, but he's going to do the round of applause. Half violent at Bachman Road, industrial side. Sky 6 flew over this, crash completely gone. Can't even find where they moved it to. So you're doing pretty good there. Further south, joining into the Hunters Creek area, south there of south of Osceola Parkway, south of the loop. You see Carroll, John Young, Dorado, everything moving pretty good in the north portions of Kissimmee. This is where the problems are at if you're leaving Poinciana, both Poinciana Boulevard uh, and Pleasant Hill, starting to see those delays. So add about 5, 10 extra minutes to your drive. Guys, back to you. Thanks, Trooper Steve. 641, a local rapper speaks out after being accused of making threats to a college campus. Coming up, what he's now saying about the lyrics that landed him behind bars and the plea deal he reached with prosecutors. Plus, days after making a big move in the NFL, wide receiver Antonio Brown is hit with a serious lawsuit in Florida. What he's accused of doing to a former trainer. This portion of the news is sponsored by Papa John's. I'm pinpointing weather from Coco Beach. Download the new six pinpoint weather app now for the latest alerts. Not every car can be an AutoNation one price pre-owned vehicle. Only the best pass our worry-free inspection. They're marked with our guaranteed lowest price. That's what it takes to be a one price pre-owned vehicle. Don't wait, save now at the AutoNation store near you. It's not if a hurricane will hit, but when. If a hurricane like Irma taught us anything, it's that the best way to protect your home and family is with impact windows. Trust the experts in impact windows and doors. Florida Home Improvement Associates. Call before the next storm hits. 407-777-2747. For a limited time, we have over $200,000 in discounts and rebates. Call now. 407-777-2747. The rebates and discounts are going fast. This is the nimble Chevy Trax, the versatile Chevy Equinox, the stylish all-new Chevy Blazer, and the roomy